In this video, we're gonna walk through the bid optimizer tool within PPCS. And what this powerful tool allows you to do is to refine and optimize bids based on two important factors, your performance and the settings that you've configured within PPCS. So we're gonna walk through a few examples so you really get a good sense and get confidence behind leveraging bid optimizer. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at here in the dashboard is the first column. We have the keyword, which is an exact match of this keyword or this example of men's wallet, genuine leather. We can get a graph or detailed view of performance at the keyword level, level by clicking that button. We see the campaign and the ad group that the keyword is nested under. The runtime, so the stretch of time since the last change for this specific keyword in Bid Optimizer. So for this account, for this example, that is far too long because when you first sync up, your account with PPCS, you wanna be vigilant with your bid optimizations because it's an opportunity, again, to uh, fix overspend and realize a greater ROI. And at minimum, setting up a schedule of five to seven days of really just staying on top of suggestions, letting the machine learning, letting the tool do all the heavy lifting for you. Now, if you'd like to reset that runtime, you can do so by clicking the button here. We have the current bid for this keyword at $1.21. We can manually update it by clicking the pencil, but we're gonna let Bid Optimizer do all of that heavy lifting for us because it's going to suggest a new bid, again, based on performance and the settings that we have configured, what we've told PPCS is our optimal performance, it's going to provide us some suggestions. And there's clarification through the reason column because this tells us why. We have no sales and clicks above eight hence the suggestion to reduce our bid. And we can see what type of change, roughly 12 cents from our $1.21 bid, current bid, to the suggested $1.09. And again, looking at some of the performance metrics, no sales, $32.59 in terms of our current spend, and 26 clicks realized, and effectively uh, zero or infinite ACOS with no sales realized uh, against our current spend. Now, if you wanna dive into some of the other metrics, you can click show data, and dive into things like click-through rate, take a look at cost per click, impression data, and so on. But as with our first example, if I go back to show reason, it's very obvious something needs to be done here. We're spending money and we're realizing no return and there's an opportunity to optimize bids. And this is where Bid Optimizer throws it in front of us and has, it says, hey, stop the waste, optimize your bids, and start getting a return on your investment. Now I can easily make that change by clicking apply bid to Seller Central. If we didn't have as extreme of an example, we may want to snooze the bid for one week, which you can do here, or we could ignore it altogether. And if you choose either of these options, you have a running log of uh, those bids that are snoozed or uh, snoozed or ignored uh, right here in the navigation as well. But this is an obvious one where we have an opportunity to optimize our spend. So I'm gonna click apply bid. Now, on the off chance you make a mistake or you'd like to undo any changes, simply click the undo button and it's going to uh, represent you that new bid, that suggestion. Now, for efficiency's sake, we can just as easily bulk apply these suggestions based on our settings. Let's first take a look at where you can manage your settings in Bid Optimizer. So if you click the gear icon, you can review, confirm, and update your target ACOS. What are you aiming to achieve with your ACOS and you're telling PPCS and the subsequent data uh, that we're gonna present is based on that target, as well as the max bid. What are you willing to, uh, to bid at the keyword level? And that again, will, uh, will display subsequent data based on uh, the settings that you dictate. So once you input that, update that, that information, click save, that's going to, again, alongside performance, gonna dictate what's visible here in Bid Optimizer. Now, let's say I am good to go. All of the machine learning, all of the rule-based automation is done for me. I wanna bulk apply. All of the highlighted new suggested bids will be added on that page. Now, again, if you uh, fall behind or you're not actively managing uh, bid optimizations, as in this example, I've got almost 378 results. Because that bulk apply is page specific, you could of course increase the number of results or items on page. 
And that way I can do this in three or four clicks. We're talking 60 seconds. And that's really the beauty is, is both the effectiveness based on our performance and settings and the efficiency with which a few clicks can drive better performance and optimize our spend. Now let's say same example uh, as the individual example. If I wanna undo that change, you can just as easily do that at the page level by clicking uh, this button here. So we also have the ability to do this for auto campaigns. I've been more actively managing it for this account, so you're not gonna see a lot of results. And ideally, this is the view that you want. You wanna be on top of it to where you're making only a few decisions, bulk applying those changes, and really actively managing your bid optimizations. Same visibility here in terms of the source, the runtime, the current bid, the suggested bid. Now this is an incremental change, uh, just a cent for the reason that the ACOS is above our target ACOS of 30%. So the suggestion to decrease bid based on this current performance is rather intuitive. We can again show data, dive a little bit more into the, the numbers as needed, and as easy as that. Now, both on the original bid optimizer and the auto campaigns, you have the ability to filter down whether it's specific keywords you wanna review, specific campaigns, you can easily sort and search and filter. And it's also very intuitive to prioritize based on higher ACOS. So by clicking that column, you can uh, effectively sort the results to prioritize those, those uh, where your spend is really bleeding, it's underperforming, and you make sure you make those changes. But of course, you wanna treat your entire account with care and make sure you're carefully evaluating uh, those underperforming keywords. Now we've got product targeting functionality here as well as sponsored brands. Same view, um, nothing's changed to where it's very intuitive to knowing what kind of steps you need to take. So as with this top example, taking a look at the keyword, campaign and ad group that it's nested under, the runtime, the bid, and I've come in here and I've already uh, made a change to, uh, to a suggested bid based on the uh, reason and that's good to go. So again, if I'm more actively managing it, I'm gonna carefully review in the outset. I think it's important to take your time at the keyword level to get acclimated to the functionality of Bit Optimizer, and then really you can get liberal with bulk applying because that automation comes into play. You're doing your PPC in minutes and you're leveraging uh, that rule-based automation to be a very efficient with these very effective steps. And then the last two items again, being able to take a look at those suggestions you've snoozed, so you have a running log, as well as those that you've ignored to have visibility there as well. But bid optimizers, very powerful to optimize, to refine, to cut that waste, to drive ROI, do it all in one place. And as you get acclimated and used to leveraging uh, this tool, you can bulk apply so you can get it all done in just a few seconds.